Mm, less drunk. I'm willing to bet if you clicked on this video, it's because of the thumbnail. This is some of the strangest cover art for a Super Nintendo game. It's for Time Cop, based off of the movie starring Jean-Claude Van Damme and Ron Silver. But uh, why did they put Cyclops firing a gun on the cover? I know Time Cop is based on a graphic novel, but come on, you can't tell me that's not Cyclops. The movie, meanwhile, is actually pretty decent considering it's Van Damme. He plays a cop who takes out people who are abusing time travel to steal money and, I don't know, unopened copies of Little Samson. Time Cop was Van Damme's highest grossing movie that he starred in, and it actually got good reviews. You'd think a successful action movie like this would lend itself well to a 16-bit video game, and you'd think wrong. Time Cop was released in April 1995 and developed by Cryo Interactive for Super Nintendo, and it's the only official game the movie ever got. There was a project planned for Sega CD, but only a demo was released before it was cancelled. Although a complete version of the game was found and put online back in 2007, so if you like crappy licensed Sega CD games, then you can go find that and have a day. As for this crappy licensed game, it's just a mess. As you can see, they went for photorealistic rotoscoped characters, and you presumably play as Jean-Claude Van Damme, but really this looks like it could be just about anyone. I will say the puffy jacket with rolled up sleeves is definitely a choice. You get three lives and two continues to get through five levels split up into four or five stages each, and I'm not sure why anyone would want to do that because this is one of the ugliest games I've ever seen. Each level background looks like a jumbled mess of random nonsense. What am I even looking at here? And it doesn't help that your character, the enemies, and the projectiles all kind of blend together. It's like the artists were so proud of how ugly these backgrounds are that they forgot to mute the colors a bit so the actual gameplay can stand out. You got this level here which looks like an endless boiler room. This level looks like everything is stained by cigarette smoke. And then there's whatever this is. I feel like I'm stuck in the giant spaceship from the movie Space Mutiny. It's B to jump, Y to fire your weapon, X to punch, and A to kick. Yes, that's your punch. Who punches like this? And here's your kick. What, are you trying out for the Rockettes or something? And yeah, as you can see, some of your attacks are several frames, so you have to sit there and wait for your attack to wind up and wind down. So at least the game makes up for being incredibly ugly by being a pain in the ass to play as well. Seriously, the controls in this game are some of the worst that I've ever played. This is what happens when you simply try and turn around. Your character actually stops and you watch his slow ass turn around, leaving you vulnerable to take damage. Plus, the attacks and the hit detection are so bad here that the most effective move in your arsenal is to duck and kick everyone's shins. Oh well, at least enemies can kill each other, which is pretty funny. Let's take a look at the instruction manual, and uh-oh, you know a game is bad when the manual is only seven pages long and double-spaced like a college term paper. Even Nintendo Power gave Time Cop a bad review, saying the controls are awful, and they never said stuff like that. Even with games this bad, I still try and look for something, anything, redeeming, but Time Cop is one of the most irredeemable games I can remember playing. Even the music is annoying. This sounds like something from NFL Quarterback Club. So yeah, of all the games that have been made over the years, Time Cop is in fact one of them. I wish it weren't. Time Cop comes across like a fake video game, like something you'd see in a movie or a TV show. You know how some fast food places will have ice cream but they're not allowed to call it ice cream because technically it's a frozen dairy dessert and there's nothing resembling actual ice cream in it? That's what I think of when I play Time Cop for Super Nintendo. This shouldn't be called a video game, it's more of a video game product. But what are you gonna do? I guess if there weren't any bad games, we wouldn't appreciate the good ones as much. So you're gonna want to avoid this game any way you can. Alright, that's all for now. I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.